Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This is my lovely mother. Hello. Her name's Harvey and she has been on my channel before, haven't you? Yes, I have. I have. If you'd like to go watch those videos, I will link them in the description below. Um, but today we are doing Mum Does My ASOS Shop. Outfit number one. This is number one. Okay, and this is what? This is something I think you would wear and that you would like. Something I would choose. Okay. Yes. So I'm seeing polka dots, I'm seeing crochet lace. It's looking good so far, but it's white. Mm, see, that's the only funny bit, because white is... Mm, see mm. through. Oh! Oh, it's a play suit! Okay, this is definitely going to be see through. Okay, so we've got a nice bardo. Love that. Oh, it's quite wide. This is a size 8. What? But look. Aha, it's our straps. And then it has a nice little lace waist, and then it has shorty bits. Mm -hmm. Shall we try it on? I think we should. Okay. Whoa, just fell. Uh, outfit number one. I actually love this, uh, but hello. It ticks so many boxes of what I would choose, like a bardo, polka dots, a lace, like a detail around the, wa the waist. Um, but I think the, like this and this lace is a bit much and it's so see-through. If you didn't know what underwear I was wearing, now you do. <sighs> oh, wobbly Ooh. stool. I mean, I do love this, like, this is so pretty. It is. I wish it was That's that. what attracted me to it, was this, this whole, like, it, it was almost like a medieval gown sleeve, yeah. you know, sort of idea. Although I wish it sat a bit higher, because it's, it's like falling down my arm, and it should sit, like, not put, you shouldn't be able to see your armpit hole. <gasps> so Not and, and this this hole. keeps happening. So I'm gonna give it. Are we doing fives or tens? Out of five. Out of five, I give it a two point five. Harsh. Um, because I like the polka dots. Yeah. And it's opened my eyes to play suits a little bit, but mm. this is annoying and it's very see through. It is really see through. You wouldn't have known, but I mean. Having it with black underwear on tells you exactly how see-through that is. Yes. Okay. Okay. Outfit number two. Now this one is... Okay, this one is a mixture of two things that you like. Shape and fabric. Right. Put together in a, an interesting combination. So... This is what you want me to wear. No, this is just this is this, this is the random one. This is the random fourth one. Okay. Okay. So I shall open it and you can extract it from the bag. That sounds a bit medical. Okay. This looks like my prom dress. Oops. So my prom dress, I'll insert a picture. They are like wonderful. Um was like this at the top. But this is like long, like long. And shiny. So on the website, it looks like pleather, it's, PVC. It's not. It's, but it's not satiny. Yeah. Um. So this is very eveningy. Should we try it on? Yes. Yes. I like this bit, um, and it's very similar to my prom dress. So naturally, I would like like this kind of. I'm looking. I'm doing this because of the mirror over there. Um. This like neckline. I uh, I hate the skirt. Like, I don't understand why we've gone from lace to, like, really shiny. I mean, it, I'm not really helping it because it's not ironed, but it, it, like, holds its shape, which is quite nice. But the waistline's, like, way too high. So this is going round my ribs. My actual waist is here. So if you can see, it's making me look wider than I am. Um, so I would prefer it to fit like this. So when I looked at it on the website, it looked like PVC. Yeah. And I thought that was a really interesting contrast of the lace and the the PVC. Yeah. But it's it's a a satin. Yeah. I mean it's pretty and I wouldn't hate it if I had to wear it, but I wouldn't keep it. I think it looks gorgeous on you. Thank you. I give Specs. <laughs> I give this a Again, a 2.5. Like, the idea so harsh. is yeah. nice, and I like the detail, mm -hmm. but I don't like the cut or the fabrics. So 
so for that, sorry. Okay, next one. My when I saw this actually went, oh, oh my god. So what category does this fulfill? And the comfort zone one. I hate comfort zone. Everybody comfort stop zone. saying comfort zone and roller coaster ride. I'm sick of it. It's because you watch America's Next Top Model <sighs> and Drag Race. Uh. Um anyway, this is something I'd like you to wear. Okay. And at first I could only find it in tall and I was like, no. Yes, because I'm five foot four. But then. Oh, it's a bardeau. And I think the zip. It's at the back. Well, the model was wearing it. Oh, other, it's at the front. The model was wearing it that way round with the slit at the front. So that. But I think you could weird. do it either way. Let's try it on. Hmm. So this is outfit number three. What are your thoughts, Mum? I think you look like a vamp from a Philip Marlowe novel, circa 1940. It's really va va -voom. It's very flattering. And you'd think horizontal stripes would make you look wider and shorter, but I think the shape of this actually makes you look taller. This is, yeah, definitely nothing I would ever choose. I like the bardo. I mean, I just love a bardo. I think they're flattering on pretty much everyone. As someone with a pear shape, so I'm like quite small boobed and quite like wide hipped, I would never choose a peplum because what a peplum does is adds weight to your waist and makes your hips look bigger. So if you're someone that's quite up and down and you want to make it look like you've got more hip and bum than you do, a peplum's really good. But when you're like me and you already have quite a lot of leg and bum going on and not a lot of boob going on, it kind of widens where I'm already bigger. So I'm not a huge fan of the peplum, but I do think the peplum um, kind of balances out the line a little bit. I mean, I think I could maybe walk down the street and be like, yeah, I feel kind of fun in this. But I think the more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, I don't really feel like a 10 out of 10. So what are you giving this out of five? Okay, uh, out of five, I'm going to give this one a 3.5 because I think it could, like, if I made friends with it, I could like it more. I just feel like there's a whole lot going on. Like, we've got zips, we've got peplums, we've got bardos, we've got stripes, we've got a slit at the bottom. There's a whole lot going on, you know? Yeah. Like, normally you just have one. Maybe not well, one. Well, it's all one in and a whole dress. Yeah. So the last one is the, and I'm not saying it because I hate saying that. This is the, ooh, I don't know whether Rocky would want to wear that, but <laughs> I'm going to have a go. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. Sparkles. I like sparkles. Yes, you do. And how I'm going to get into this bag is anybody's guess. There's the... Some of them don't have them, so you just have to rip them. No, in. I'm not going to rip it. Oh, it's there. I found it. It's an occasion dress. Right. I hate asymmetric clothes. It's like bad 90s. Let's give this a try, shall we? It's, oh this my is gosh. An entire... That's a... Does that clip or... No. That's it, just a, it's a square of sleeve that doesn't attach to anything. To waft about. I mean, I do like a wafty sleeve. Yeah. Here's a cape I prepared earlier. Look at this. <laughs> no, see me? No, don't. I kind of like it, but I kind of hate it all at the same time. I don't like the silver because silver's a light colour and it's sort of just reflecting off all the bits that you don't want it to reflect off. The cape is, I think, would be a great bit of fun if you were at a party, because you could just be like, don't like this, 90s are sash. But yeah, I think this actually might be one of my favourite things. Good Lord. I think it looks very disco, but with a modern twisty bit on it, even though that diagonal shape makes you think 80s 70s disco yeah it's bodycon and the length makes me think it's more modern look at this <laughs> you could you could do could you could it attach to it to hair. your hair oh. you see you see wait 
It's got ideas, this dress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a style. Wait, you can make it a hood. You could do just yeah, maybe versatility. Not. Maybe that's not. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. So, the silver dress, I give a 3.6. Really? Not even a 4? No, <gasps> definitely not. <laughs> Gutted. Yeah, I think, I mean, in general, I'm very picky with clothes and that's half the problem. I'm not, I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised about how things mostly fit me. Yeah, they fit really well, actually. Did you notice a monochrome theme going through it? Oh, yes. She made mm. a collection, like mm. she's on Project Runway. Capsule wardrobe. Beautiful. Not proper capsule wardrobe because it didn't have trousers or skirts. No. Or jackets. So that's the end of this video. If you would like to see this video done with anyone else, let me know. Uh, maybe my housemates or someone like that. Yeah. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, down below. Thank you very much, Mama. And um, hit the little bell icon that will give you notifications. Ding. Ding. That will give you notifications when I upload a new video. I think we're going to high five this one. Wait, if you look at your elbow, if you, no, my elbow, sorry. I'm going to look at your elbow. If we look at each other's elbows, you'll never miss a high five. Ready? Ow. Actually, that's true. Can we do a... Later, gators. Later, gators.